Hi everyone, it's Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life. Today I'm coming to you with a special video that is a viewer request. They are wanting to know how I would incorporate using Google Calendar side by side with my OneNote. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Stay with me. This is Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life, where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. And today, like I said at the top of the video, I have a viewer request. Uh, this was from a viewer named Cindy, who said that she uses Google Calendar uh, because she has to use it for work and, you know, everybody else can see what she's got going on and all that stuff, and that her calendar changes every day, and that she does not want to retype everything or rewrite everything into OneNote, but she really loves the Franklin Planner page. So she asked for my opinion and my advice about how I would work with that. So I want to show you uh, what my ideas are, and I'm asking you as this wonderful OneNote community to leave your ideas in the comments below, and maybe we can help Cindy solve her problem, okay? All right, well, if that sounds interesting to you, please go ahead and give me a like. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Please feel free to share this video with anyone that you think would find it interesting. And now, let's get right to that problem, okay? All right, well, as you can see here on my screen, I have my Google Calendar set up. And remember, I am a retired teacher, so I don't have lots of appointments anymore. Uh, but I do have things on my calendar that I try to get done around the house. Uh, and so I have a cleaning schedule here. I have a gardening schedule here. I have, um, you know, that kind of thing uh, on my page for every day. And then I also have individual events, okay? Let's pretend, for Cindy's sake, that these are various meetings and that kind of thing. Maybe it's you know, a one-to-one -one with your boss or a meeting with a client or something like that, okay? So what I would say is to set up your screen very much like I have it here on my screen. On one side, you see here I have Google Calendar and I like the day look, but you know, you can always switch it from the day look to the weekly view if you would like to. And I actually have mine a little bit more than half of the screen. So, you know, you could, you could adjust that as you need to just grab here in the middle, right? And do whatever works best for you. Um, but I like to have the daily schedule up so that I know exactly what's coming up. And then on the other side of my screen, I have my OneNote notebook with my Franklin Planner page. Okay. Now, if you're new to the channel or you're just seeing this Franklin Planner page, uh, for the first time, I do have videos about how that was created, uh, and I'll link those for you up above and down in the description box. Basically, what I did is I took the beloved Franklin Planner two-page-a-day fold, and I combined them uh, and created my own digital version. Okay, so if you look at this, you'll see that it's very, very much like the Franklin Planner page, okay? So, back to our problem. She has to use Google Calendar, but she wants to keep the Franklin Planner concept and notes and all of that kind of thing alive, okay? So this is how I would set up my screen for work every day. I would put my Google Calendar on one side. Again, I could make it smaller if I wanted to. And then I would have my OneNote page set up over here with my planning page for the day, okay? And by the way, I'm filming this as it's getting dark and starting to rain. So I apologize if it's really dark. I hope looking at the screen is more important than seeing what I'm doing. Okay. Um, all right. So what I would suggest is at the end of every day, so let's say the 22nd is the end of the day, I would then go in my OneNote notebook and I would say, okay, well, what's coming up for the 23rd? And I would do some of that pre-planning that they talk about in the Franklin Planner. So of course, my number one priority is planning. And then my number two priority is getting my steps in and doing my walking. But I might also say on here, and again, substitute these for meetings. I might say that I did not get around to watering the plants. 
So tomorrow I need to make sure that I water the plants and I will give that a priority. That needs to be B number one for me. And maybe I also got a, an email late in the day and now there is a meeting with Debbie. Okay, so now I have that meeting with Debbie that I need to think about. And so that is actually going to be B2 because it's an afternoon meeting, okay? So I'm going ahead and I'm setting up anything that I know I didn't finish on the 22nd and go ahead and scheduling that for the 23rd, okay? Now, I go to sleep, I wake up tomorrow, it's now the 23rd. Here is my very busy schedule for the 23rd. And I know that I have these other things that I have to squeeze in there some, somewhere, okay? So I would look at this and say, well, I know there might be some time for me to water the plants right in here. So maybe I can schedule that in there. And then I have this meeting with Debbie that's come up. So maybe I need to add that in there as well. So I could go ahead and do that once I have my own calendar up. So I could say I have an event to uh, meet with Debbie. And I know that that is going to be um, what time did we say that would work for three o'clock? Let's see. Yes, three o'clock. So I could do a meeting with Debbie at three and it will end at 3.30 because I have something else to do. And then I will save that and now you see that is in there. And then watering my plants, I might be able to work that in as a task. Um, I want that to be a task and I'm gonna say water my plants at that time. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so now I've squeezed that in as well. My day's looking very full and I'm just gonna go right through it, okay? Now, the one thing that Cindy said that she liked about the Franklin Planner page was this area over here with the daily notes, because as she goes through the day and she has various meetings and things, there are things that she needs to think about and that kind of thing. So having this meeting notes over here is very helpful. So let's say clutter clearing is a meeting that she had. So for number one, note number one, I'm just going to put... Um, clutter right next to that so I know it's a note about that and I'm going to say um, this is a uh, attacked the dining room um, and collected old dishes and napkins to donate okay now again I'm just using examples from my own life Cindy would do things from her office work, okay? And then down here, uh, maybe for number two, that meeting with Debbie, I'm gonna put Debbie right here. Uh, and let's see, the um, final paperwork is set for the uh, conference if I could spell correctly, to be held on the 27th of October, okay? Uh, let's see, conference, okay? And then, you know, so on and so on. So I could take notes here and that kind of thing. Um, the other thing that Debbie liked was, or sorry, the other thing that Cindy liked was this weekly compass where that you could lay out, you know, your big rocks those big important things that you need to keep on top of. So she wanted to be able to keep that section there as well, okay? Now, let's say it's the end of the day. Cindy has taken all of her notes that she needs to uh, to keep things going here. And because this is a table, if I needed more space, all I need to do, let's say I'm typing a note down here, and I come down and I hit the enter key, you see it gives me a whole nother row in that table. So I can add as many notes in here as I want to. Okay, but what she wanted to be able to do is to document what her Google Calendar page looked like and attach it with this OneNote page. Now, you cannot link them directly. That just doesn't work um, with anything that I know of that's not web-based. Um, and so what I would suggest is I would suggest that she come over here and that she click somewhere on this side, okay, that she, she's making sure that this is the window that is chosen, 
okay? And then do a screen print, okay? So I'm clicking on my keyboard, the, the button that says print screen, okay? And when I do that, and I click, my whole screen goes dark, and I say I want it to be here, I want this part, okay? Then I get the snipping tool, okay? And the snipping tool comes up, let me drag that up for you. The snipping tool comes up, and here I can edit if I would like to, okay? So I'm going to crop this, and I'm gonna take out all of this stuff that I don't need, and all of this stuff that I don't need, I am being uh, mindful to put in, to leave in the uh, date so that I know what this is actually from, okay, like so. And when I get it cropped the way I want, I'm going to hit enter, okay, and it's going to save it in that section. Now, there's a couple things that I could do. I could then copy this. Let me shrink it down so you can see. I could go back over here to my OneNote page. Down here at the bottom, I can simply say paste, and that's going to give me a graphic, a picture of this OneNote page from today. I can then use my key, my uh, Alt key, and I can get it exactly to fit right in there, just like that. Let me scroll in so you can see. And I can cover up that box just like that, okay? So now I have my appointment schedule for October 23rd. This is exactly what happened that day. Uh, and now it is attached into my uh, OneNote page. So now the whole OneNote page looks like that with my Google Calendar embedded in it, okay? Now, there's something else that I could do uh, in the snipping tool. And that is, I could go over to this little button right here that says text actions. I could let it do its thing and I could say, copy it as a table. And when I do that, click that, it copies it to the clipboard. Then I could go back to OneNote. Again, I'll work down here at the bottom so you can see what's happening. And I paste it in. Then you see I have October 23rd, today's calendar, Thursday, and I have all of that information and it's made it a two column table for me, okay? Why did it make it two columns? Well, because I have this one overlapping meeting here where I'm supposed to be in two places at one time. In my case, it's mopping the kitchen floor and mopping the hardwood floor. That's why I put them together because it's the same task, but it could equal in, a, in real life in an office that you're supposed to be in two meetings at one time, okay? So if you don't like the graphic idea up here, you always could copy it as a table here. And again, replace that table with this one. Let's move this out of the way. And let's put this one up here. Uh, if you're gonna do that, you probably should get rid of the table underneath of it. So let's do that. And we can drag that up there and we could make it smaller by making our font smaller and all of that kind of thing. Um, instead of 18 point, let's make it 10. That works better. Uh, then I can squish it down if I need to. So I have the whole day on there, okay? So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, and that works too. So it's just really a question of what you like. Do you like this appointment schedule like that? Or do you like the actual graphic of the, um, you know, of the day? Now, I would say if you're somebody that, you know, doesn't want your calendar to change at all, you know, you want to actually document what your day looked like, this picture is probably the best thing to do. Okay, that would be my suggestion. 
All right. Well, Cindy, I hope you found that helpful. And, uh, you know, thanks so much for the question. It really uh, made me think a little bit about how I would handle this problem. I do understand that a lot of people use Google Calendar or Outlook or something like that, but they want the functionality of being able to use OneNote to keep track, to take notes, to be able to document all the things that happen during the day. And I think this is a great solution uh, to that problem. But I'd like to hear from you. What do you guys think out there? Do you have any other recommendations for Cindy about how uh, you know, she could manage this particular problem that she's having, leave a comment below. We would all love to learn from each other. Okay. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. And until next time, here's hoping that you can live a more simplified and organized life through better planning. I use OneNote. Until next time. Okay. Bye.